Hey guys, today's tutorial is about how to use and create clipping masks in and with Affinity Designer to create images like this for example. And first of all we start with a clean and empty document. And what a clipping mask basically is, is just an um, option to only reveal a part of a layer of an image instead of the whole layer. For example, only reveal the part of the um, letters right here with the letters, but you could also use shapes for this. And um, we start with the image. So I will use this image I've got from unsplash.com. You can use any image you want and also create a little background. So we have a better look without a transparent background right here, make it um, lock right here so we don't um, have problems with it and then we create some text and for example write mask in um, big letters make it a little bit bigger and I've used the font one moment for favorites I've used the font throw it and made it bigger a little bit so adjust it as um, big as you want and then center it, make sure to have a snapping activated to center it easily. Otherwise you could use the alignment feature right here. And what we now have to do, we just need to adjust this image to fit our text. So for example, like this, if you want it to be like this or a little bit bigger to the top. And then we need to um, make our text into curves. We could also um, convert to curves right here and we could also then um, click on single letters and move them closer together if you want to but I don't want to for this example but could look better for an image depending on the image and how complex it is um, you maybe need to move them uh, more uh, closer together to have a better look of the image view of the image and now we just simply click ungroup by using command shift and G or um, control shift and G on windows and now the important part how to create a clipping mask and to use it. We need to um, copy this image first four times because we have four letters. So we use command C for copy, command V for paste, control C, control V for Windows PCs. And then to create a clipping mask, we simply need to put this layer underneath our um, layer we want to put it in. So um, under the layer we want to, um, what part we want to reveal of our image of our layer and then move to the right till we have this um, this sign that it's not till the uh, t uh, the whole um, the whole um, width so um, it is just like this and then drop it and we see now if we deselect all of them that our image is now inside this letter and we could still move it around by clicking on it and hide it and so on so we make command C to go back to our starting position and command shift C for one uh, set for one um, front uh, to the front and now we're at our starting position again we um, are making our pictures visible again and doing the same thing for the other letters so put this image underneath the S and to the right and underneath the A and to the right and underneath the M and to the right so we have to move it up first so we can move it underneath the M and to the right and we are finished with our um, um, with our um, clipping mask. Now we can style it a little bit to make it look cooler. We could select all of the um, um, the four letters by holding down um, Shift and clicking on the last one. We select all um, um, beneath those letters as well, and maybe make it opacity ninety percent to make it look a little bit cleaner. And then we could. Um, group all of them to move them around together and make it bigger. We see because the image is clipped to it and we're moving it around, the image also resizes accordingly. So this is really cool and we can move it to the middle. Um, just one more demonstration. If you're using a circle, for example, making it black, we can do the same thing as said before. This is not limited to um, letters. So we're moving this underneath the circle. So first um, command set, first underneath the group and now underneath the ellipse. And now we can moving it around by using our normal tool right here, moving it to the circle. And we're seeing that we are only seeing the part of the image revealing only the part 
underneath our um, our curve we are clipped to. So you're not limited to letters, you are limited to all curves possible. So letters, objects, everything you create with the pen tool and so on. So you could also make some cool effects where people are jumping out of the image by um, creating an object around their head, for example, with the pen tool and the rest in um, curves like letters or um, objects. So we're deleting this and we go command set to get back to our starting position, deleting the lips, the, cur uh, the circle right here. And to make it look even better, right here we make our transparency 90% 90 again. We can give our rectangle background uh, a soft color of the image. So we're taking our tool to get the color. Then we're using effects to give a color overlay of white. For example, white hex code is six times F. So we're using this and making maybe 40%. And then we are doing it, uh, want to do it um, dark a little bit. So we're um, getting our color again, saving in the top right here and then adjusting it. So giving it to the rectangle and then changing to black with um, six times zero and then maybe give it simply select the layer first, of course, then give it simply 10%, for example. And that's a color I think matches really good to the, um, to the um, letter mask. So mask, clipping mask for the image. And you can, of course, use any color you want to, any text and any image. That's just one possible way and an inspiration from my side. And now what we can do to make it look even cooler to make the, um, the, the clipping mask, the mask letters pop out of this background, we can go to effects and we can give it uh, outer shadow. I'm normally using 50% black and 50 pixels radius and offset of 30 or 50. And then you could do any angle you want, for example, 315 is looking really cool, cool, I think. And we are finished with this um, tutorial on how to use and create clipping mats, masks in Affinity Designer. And that's going to do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully see you in the next video. And bye.